an 18 year old boy walking down a San Francisco street in the middle of the night to meet a girl. It could have been the intro to a love story. Instead, it's the first line of a case against two black men accused of carrying out a drive-by shooting in July 2020. Problem is though, the kid they are accused of killing that night, Jerome Mallory, was the cousin of the district attorney's husband, meaning that bringing charges against them presents a conflict of interest. So prosecutors have to be very clear in their evidence against the pair. Sincere Pomar and Stevie Mitchell are the accused killers and both are alleged to be connected to the Trey Four Street Gang. The origin of the Trey Four Gang can be tracked back to the Sunnydale housing projects in San Francisco. The gang is made up of mostly black and Samoan members who have been involved in killings, robberies, and drug dealings across the city. On that night in July 2020, Sincere and Stevie are alleged to have driven east over the Bay Bridge towards the southern part of the city, where they both lived. They ditched their car and picked up a stolen Honda Accord and two other friends before driving towards Bayview. Bayview is known as the birthplace of the Double Rock Gang, who have been locked in a deadly feud with Trey Four for years. Just three months before Jerome's death, Double Rock members took out one of Trey Four's own in a drive-by shooting. New information on that Bay Bridge shooting. One person died overnight. Two other people are injured. The CHP says this was a targeted and possibly gang-related shooting. It happened at around 1130 on the upper deck, the westbound lanes near Fremont Street. Two passengers in a gray Infinity car were hit. A 20-year-old man died and a 19-year-old has major injuries. The driver of a Honda ended up with minor injuries. On the way to Bayview, Sincere and Stevie filmed an Instagram video showing off their guns. When they spotted Jerome, they slowed down and fired towards the young man. The shooting only stopped when a resident of the building walked outside and the shooters took off. Unfortunately, the person that found Jerome was his own aunt. The group in the Honda sped off and two blocks away from the scene of the shooting, they crashed. Sincere and Stevie bolted in one direction and the companions went the other way. During their escape, they dumped their guns in bushes next to an RV park and the next day they returned to the same spot to collect their weapons. Much of the Honda's movements that night were captured on CCTV and so despite the conflict of interest with the DA, charges were filed against Stevie and Sincere as well as two juveniles believed to be the other occupants of the vehicle. They asserted that the four had carried out the killing as a retaliation in the gang feud. But defense attorneys for Stevie and Sincere claimed they were not involved in the killing and they denied any connection to Trey Four. They claimed the police assumed everyone from a bad neighborhood was part of a gang even when there was no evidence to prove it. But looking back through Sincere's Instagram, you can see a picture of him next to the grave of the Trey Four member shot three months before Jerome and Stevie's mother was in a relationship with a convicted Trey Four member. These days, social media adds fuel to the rivalry between violent gangs. After his death, Jerome has been remembered in rap videos and Instagram posts and even had his face printed on lanyards. Some will say that keeping his memory alive in such a way is merely intended to taunt the Trey Four gang. Whether the killers are members of gangs or not, the fact that they were in a stolen car bragging about their weapons should be just as concerning. Is it absent parents, poverty, drugs, or something else which is leading our young people to act this way? Y'all know what it is. Stay the fuck out of trouble. Yep. Everybody got choices. Try to smoke me, I'm gonna shoot the motherfucker if he don't kill me first. You're doing exactly what they want you to do. You're
You have to think, young brother, about your future. 